Rise and shine, Tuscany Heights. Today is Thursday, September 8th, 2020. Please stand for the pledges and remain standing for the mission statement in a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. We the Tigers will be inspired to lead, honor, and excel today. Thank you. Please be seated. On Monday, the Lakers beat the Rockets 117 to 109. Also on Monday, the Celtics beat the Celtics beat the Raptors 111 to 89. And that's your sports news for today. Now for your sports trivia. Did you know that there on a regular basketball season there are 82 games? Thanks, Grant. Morning, Tigers. Today is way back Wednesday. Did you know that the heaviest piece of gold found in the California gold bus was 195 pounds? That's about three of me and cost five and a half million dollars in today's money. I know that's giving me gold fever. This stuff was put in my book, What Was California Gold Rush by John Now back to you, Mimi. Have a wacky Wednesday, Tigers. Now to Miss Bailey and Miss Leon. Good morning, boys and girls. It is Wednesday, September the 9th. Yes, you are right. Good morning. <laughs> I got lost there for a second. I'm like, it's the 9th. All right, boys and girls, we are excited about this uh, short week because we have students that are beginning to phase in here on campus. So, like I said, if you were not in that first phase, we have not forgotten you. We are still enjoying our Zoom classrooms and being able to see you guys in your classrooms through the Zoom model. We are also going to be inviting more students back as we continue into a phase two, three, four, on into a five until we have all of our students back that want to attend in person. 
So if you are not here this week, we will begin phase two, they said in two weeks, unless we continue to progress in a safe, positive way in the city of San Antonio. And then things can always change. They are ever changing right now as we are in the middle of a pandemic. So speaking of changes, uh, I just wanted to give a shout out about our schedule changes. As we welcome some students back on campus today, we did have to adjust our virtual and traditional schedules to kind of match up. Everybody was working on the same schedule being 100% virtual. And now we have to accommodate for kids being on campus for our lunch, recess, and specials. That is so that teachers have common planning time still, and they're able to sit down and communicate, collaborate with one another, and find the best instructional strategies and methods and resources to use for our students, as well as having all eyes on campus available during those non-Zoom classroom times to be um, on duty to keep all kids safe if they're arriving or dismissing or on the playground or in the cafeteria. So we have had some changes, but parents, I promise, my goal is to minimize that change as much as possible. And with this schedule set, we are not going to, we do not foresee a need to have another change at each of those phases. Right, Mrs. Leon? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> she, the, the, go go ahead. ahead. she is our schedule guru. So she has been the mastermind behind working with our teachers and getting their voice and their input and thinking about our families that are at home and our working schedules, as well as thinking about what we do have to accommodate here as far as PE minutes and teachers having planning time and stuff that's all um, driven by the state. So she has been a great asset to have here on campus and working with our staff. Yes, so no more changes. This was the first one and the only one I promised for the school year. All right, so um, we also will be reaching out as we know more about those students that are in the phase in two and three, and we will communicate as far in advance as we possibly can. So you should be speaking from us shortly about who will be coming. Now the when is what will be flexible. If this two weeks is cut shorter because of the safety, then that will, um, you'll get a call in sooner. If not, we are looking at the next two weeks before we have our first, um, our next round of phase in. Yes. All right. I guess the last thing that we normally do is to joke for the day. Yes, it was so good seeing kids come in yesterday. When they would come out of their cars, they would say, are you still going to tell your jokes on morning announcements? So I think we started a trend and they love hearing them. So we have to I just love keep it. it. That's yeah. awesome. Well, all right. So I I'll go. Oh, go, go ahead. I was just gonna say, I have enjoyed doing it. And I also enjoyed seeing all of our boys and girls yesterday. I can't wait to see yeah. more. It was really nice. All right, so mine says, what did the left eye say to the right eye? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Between us, something smells. Get it? That's Isn't true, it? that's true. Okay, all right, so I have mine. I was just reading it one more time. Um. What's the best place to grow flowers in a school? Best place to grow flowers in a school. The playground? <laughs> in kindergarten. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Come on. Yes, that totally makes sense. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, have a happy Wednesday. We look forward to seeing you in your virtual classrooms or here on campus. Yes. See you guys later.